Hi, a uh, quick quality check about the gun. So I'll just show you the, how it uh, operates and what things not to do. So let's start with a combination between hammer, trigger and cylinder. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So here you go. It works, hammer works, trigger works, cylinder works. Combination of them works. Okay, and now let's getting bullets out. So you should use a extractor rod to you know, align them and just use extractor rod to get them out. But when you turn them, they will basically fall out themselves. Or in case they're not, just use extractor, extractor rod. There you go, and let's do the same, putting bullets back in. One, three, number four, number five, number six. There you go, back in the beginning. There you go. So, um, good thing is, you will receive a gun like that. It is. It still can be taken apart. Like this. I will send it to you. Like that. Uh, the reason is you can. Uh, you can still paint something. For example, if I send it in parts, you can paint it. Add something. And whenever you feel it's ready. It's like. Less than 10 seconds to take apart, less than 10 seconds to put it together. So whenever you feel it's ready, this is the thing that goes in here and keeps gun from sliding in and out. So you take this off, you can take gun apart, close it, boom, done. So whenever you're ready, when you feel it, you don't want to add anything, don't want to paint, like basically straight away you can just add a tiny bit glue on here on this side like just a bit of glue here any glue holder and also this side where it connects and then those things when they are glued you can't take gun apart so that's about that and things that can happen that shouldn't happen that can go wrong so extractor rod there's a chance that the extractor rod whenever you take uh, bullets out you for example it locks here and it's not moving then for example you it doesn't lock and it falls inside the cylinder then as you can notice cylinder is not turning so you try to pull the hammer back and it's not pulling so instead of using force like anytime when you can't feel uh, when you feel that hammer is not turning or something stuck straight stop away if you pull it further it will break down the small there are small bits inside in this area if you pull stronger, they will break and, well, gun will not be, you will not be able to use gun. You will still be able to pull the trigger back, it's gonna lock, but the uh, combination between hammer, trigger and cylinder will be gone. So, if something is like that, stuck, have a look first with your arm, if you can turn the cylinder so you can see something is blocked. Have a look around, and usually it's an uh, extractor rod. There you go, take it. Lock it in the right place and it goes back again and it works. So just be aware of that. Sometimes you take bullets out, it just falls in inside the hole. That's one of the things, well, the main thing that usually keeps it from moving. Other thing could be when you take bullets out or put them in, you could leave it like halfway like this. You see, cylinder is not turning again. Like There is a chance that it can happen. So again, you start to pull hammer back and it's not pulling. So instead of, as I said, going further and breaking any other thing inside, stop straight away, try to turn it with your hand. Yeah, it's fine. Try to turn it with your hand, you can see it's not working. Check the extractor rod, that's in place. And you can see, bullet is out. That works, so... Otherwise, everything's okay. Ready to pack and ready to deliver.